In this video, we're going to look at the first of three loops available in GameMaker language, the repeat loop. This loop is super simple to understand and use. It literally just repeats the code we input a given number of times. So as always, we need GameMaker open to a new or existing project and a new object to work with. A create event will work well for this because as we know, the create event only executes once. So if the code there repeats, well, it's obviously doing something a bit different to usual and executing more than once. Okay, so a repeat loop is really simple. We write repeat, leave a space, and then the amount of times we want it to repeat. 10 times will do. We can then use some curly braces to enclose the code we wish to repeat. Now we do something within the code. To make this video a bit longer, to make this video a bit longer, and to learn a bit more from it, let's do some string concatenation. Concatenation is when we add two strings together to form a single string. Let's make a string of numbers from 0 to 9 using this loop. To do this, we need two variables. We need a variable for counting up from 0 and one to hold the string. Let's call our counter count and set it to 0. Then let's call our string variable str for string and set it to an empty string, which is just a set of quotes with nothing between them. Okay, now let's add a show message after our repeat loop to display the result. So just show underscore message with str as the argument. Okay, so each time the loop runs, we want to add the count value to the string and then increment the count value ready for the next loop. One thing to note is that the count value does not hold a string and we can't just add it to the string variable when it's a number. For this, we can use the function string. This function takes a number value and returns it in the form of a string, which we can then add to our final string value. Okay, so to do this, we write str plus equals, and then our string function, and the counter variable as the argument. So this says add the result of the string function to the string variable. Now we just increment our counter by writing count plus plus, in other words, plus one. So now each time our string runs, it adds the string version of our count variable to the string variable, and then increments the count variable by one. When the loop ends, the show message will display the result, which should be a string of numbers from zero to nine. As a quick note, there is a function to convert strings to numbers as well. This function is called real. It will take any string and return a real number based on the numbers in the string. Okay, so let's add this object to a room and run the game to see the result. And there we have it. A repeat loop repeated itself 10 times producing a string of numbers from 0 to 9. Repeat loops are a super simple way of repeating some code multiple times. This could be something like what we just did, or spawning multiple enemies, anything really. In this video, we learnt about the repeat loop, and now know the first and most basic of the three loop types in GML.